Nah, recording. All right, yes, new location. The other side of the room. Yeah, it used to be over there. Over there. Yeah. Now I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. Different. Wow. Really incredible to be different. Um, anyway, yes, I'm here. Yes, south, north. Yeah, so maybe it'll be better. Um, anyway, just doing a test of this laptop over here. Wi-Fi over there. Let's see if it works. Uh, I see they've got the bandwidth to do this. So I might do videos from over here more often. We'll see. Um, anyway, so this is a test video, but I'm also going to talk about the three projects I'm working on. Let me see if we talk about that. I don't see nice anything. I got new level. Anyway, um, so I mean, three things I want to work on. So yeah, the one is the debate thing. Okay, so I sort of got an idea in my head, you know, that we have some sort of point system and the hierarchy and everybody gets to vote on everybody else's performance and in some way this would all wind into some sort of um, thing called credibility and accountability and that's sort of like the goal. Things seem to be staring at the camera, it's like I'm looking somewhere else. Anyway, so those are the big words, right? I mean, credibility and accountability. It's sort of everything, right? Um, and, um, yeah, so I think uh, that'll work. So, I mean, this, this is all stuff that, you know, there's some one person who can get this done. So, if you do JavaScript or Perl, you know, CGI, you can write that kind of stuff and you want to play along. Um, you know, maybe I can narrow projects down. And, uh, you know, not tomorrow, but, you know, maybe can volunteer or something. Um, but anyway, um, you know, because some of it's going to be just figuring out the mechanisms, too. Well, anyway, so there's the debate thing. All right, so that I'm working on. Um, and I'm thinking of making it just a tool. So it'll be a bookmark tool. And your book tool will be customized, and that'll be your account. So your account will basically be your tool. That doesn't sound good. Um, <laughs> yeah, your... Well, anyway, so, yeah. And that, that way, you know, I don't have to worry about somebody hacking in and all the screen names and all that kind of shit. I'm thinking anyway. Yeah, that light goes off automatically. I don't know if that's better or not. We'll see. Um, all right, so the other project is the, um, you know, I really want to do this life game thing. So, I mean, I have the, I have an old JavaScript game board that works pretty good. It's like Monopoly. You go around the board and things happen in the middle when you land on things. Stuff blows up, things happen, blah, blah, blah. So the idea is to create a game that will basically mimic what life really is, um, which is fleas and mice and spiders and oh my. Um, and, uh, you know, and then, you, you know, to give people an idea of just how rare it is to be human, and then to be, you know, and then when you do the human thing, how rare it is to be human in some kind of really cool place where you're born and have really great parents and have all the good stuff. And that that isn't it. That isn't how life works. Life isn't this life. Life is some other kind of shit. And, um, well, anyway, so there's a lot of figuring out to do, like how long the average crew lives, you know, and, you know, you have to go through how much of life is actually in the form of micro insects, and how much of life is actually in the form of this, and, you know, how many consciousness, what, what is the average consciousness to be? The end goal is to figure out something like that. Um, you know, figure out where the gazillions of brains actually exist, and how what a tiny percentage of the amount of brains on Earth, the sentient brains, is actually in the form of a human being. And these are all things people need to appreciate. And I think in a game format, they'll be able to appreciate it. Obviously, you have to make it playable. You can't have everybody caught being a fly forever, so there'll be mechanisms to, you know, cheat. But um, the, the idea would still be there that you would have to realize first that you're cheating. Well, it's not cheating, but you know what I'm saying. You could play the game from by limiting what can or can't happen just to see what different is. And then you just play it out. Like you take the average lifespan and you cut it into 10 plays or whatever, 10 rolls of the dice, and just give an example of this is what you'd likely run into. And it would be just all done by probability. And define what your plot is, your outcome is.
and uh, be interesting, probably. I mean, the more energy somebody could put into it, the more interesting it would be, obviously, so I'm just saying that's my plan. So anyway, I basically have the mechanism to work. Okay, the job is the old game I made still works, so hell with it. I'm not going to make a flash app or any of that stuff. I'll just stick with the old code. And so all I really need is the storyline, the probability kind of numbers, what kind of things, what kind of traps would be on the board, you know, that kind of stuff. And um, I can think I can make it so it'll play videos and all that kind of shit, so it could be interesting. But anyway. And the third project is a um, movie project. I think I'm just going to start making a one-man movie kind of thing. And uh, just work on a plot line that works for the general subject of anti-natalism. And, um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. So I'll just start with a, maybe a, a, a starting scene and an end scene and then do the middle scene or something like that. And um, just work. So it would be, you know, collaborative effort to point out the plot flaws and then you could add some sort of, you know, there's some sort of witty dialogue and that kind of crap. So anyway, that's what, um, the thing I'm going to do, try to get done in the next, this week if I you know, get my act together. Um, you know, Piero has got me thinking about comments and so I'd like to do, you know, I'm going to try to make a little app that will just grab the, you know, just update comments on, say, the top you know, say 10 videos relevant to the subject of ethelism or 10 videos relevant to the anti, the anti, anti natalist. Um, you know, there are 10 most recent videos and just monitor the comments as they are posted on those 10 videos and have all the comments in those 10 videos on one scroll. I just thought that might be a good feature. So, yeah. And, uh, Anyway, that's, you know, so again, I, it's just way too much here. This is actually supposed to be my art desk. Yeah, I'm supposed to be doing art here. I haven't done it yet. It's also my sixth thing to get, so that's probably not going to work out. Because I've probably got to make a bet. But anyway, it's sort of interesting to change things. It's in, in, in moderation. It's tolerable. So anyway, it's a rainy day, so you know, it would be a brighter day. It's not quite as dismal outside. So anyway, it's good test. It's a good nice video to test. So let's see what happens. <laughs>